that's that money talk. That's that money talk. Got a lot of fans, a lot of haters, we just let them talk. Cause them never faces to the paper, what you talking about? The earth will really shake it with this craters that we throwing out, yeah. Came up in the game and gave it mouth to mouth. What is up, you guys? It's your boy T Russ back with our video. And today, not even 20 minutes ago, the Lakers signed Frank Vogel and Jason Kidd as their head coach. Frank Vogel as the head coach and Jason Kidd as the assistant coach. And earlier today, I was talking about who was the problem about the dysfunctional, um, about the dysfunctional office that the Lakers have. And ultimately, I came to a conclusion that is Magic Johnson who left Genie Bus to pick up the pieces that he ruined. And I still stick to that. But also, I didn't um, quite name uh, Kurt Rambis, who is also part of the Lakers' office, who was, a, who was a part of the dysfunctional Knicks' office, who um, is also a part of this dysfunctional office, too. So there's some parallel there. So Kurt Rambis could be a part of the problem. But I want to talk about, right now, with Frank Vogel and Jason Kidd. To me, this is a cold coaching job. I don't believe Frank Vogel will be the head coach per se. I believe it will be a co-head coach or whatever job by him and Jason Kidd. Now, our offense our, our offense will not improve from this um, signing. And to be honest, maybe we don't need it to because we have LeBron James who is an offensive-minded um scorer and facilitator so he can do the bulk of the offensive load along with you know our playmakers like Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram and Cal Kuzma and um if Rajon Rondo decides he wants to come back and anybody else we decide to sign so maybe we maybe we don't need that um offensive minded head coach but Frank Vogel is very defensively minded and so is Jason Kidd when Frank Vogel was under the um, Indiana Pacers from 2011 to 2016, the Indiana Pacers never dropped below um, uh, t uh, 10 in total defense. Matter of fact, um, in total points allowed by opponents, they were um, almost always in the top five. And like I said, never below top 10. And so that's just how defensively minded Frank Vogel is and the Lakers really needed help on defense last year. So I think it's a pretty good pickup for Jeannie, for Jeannie Buss in that office. And so, you know, and we have guys that like to push the pace. And that was the whole message last year with Luke Wadden. We're, we're looking to get rebounds and push the pace. We're going down the floor. Lake show, baby. That was the thing. And so getting a defensive-minded um head coach and assistant coach really helps that out. You know, you're pushing the pace, but you also have better defense. You know, it's hard to push the pace when you're letting them score on the other side of, on the other side of the floor, which is what was happening. If we didn't have defense, then we weren't going to win games. And that was the story of the season. We didn't have any defense. And it showed, especially when Lonzo Ball was off the court. When Lonzo Ball was off the court, our defense um, was terrible terrible but when he was on the court we created a lot more turnovers but um I feel like with this signing it really helps out um our defense I feel like it can bring us to back to being a top 10 um defensive team like I said with um when Frank Vogel was with the Indiana Pacers that's what they were a top 10 defensive team now they were never top 10 in offense with and like I was saying, they, you know, maybe we don't have to worry about that. Maybe we'll be first in fast break points. And then you have LeBron who can um, facilitate and do the um, half court offense if we need it. So maybe we don't need that offensive minded coach. Maybe that defensive minded coach is where we need to be. And maybe that gets us to a winning team. But now that we have a head coach, I feel that, um, it attracts more free agents because it's better than not having a head coach. And to be honest, I'm going to be honest with y'all. This is this was a last resort decision. I'm pretty he definitely he was our first candidate and he definitely was our second or top three three even. But it was just a way to bring Jason Kidd into 
the coaching staff. We really were sold on Jason Kidd. We wanted him in inside this coaching staff and Frank Vogel was willing to agree to put him inside the coaching staff and probably one of the only coaches who was going to agree to that because usually head coaches want their own staff but you know Frank Vogel hasn't had a job for a year you know he he coached the Orlando Magic um from 2016 to 2018 and then after that you know he was he wasn't the coach anymore. So I just feel like this is this is good for the Lakers. It it can be. It can be. Like I said, it's a last resort option, but it's not a terrible option. You know, like I said, we're gonna get better on defense and that's where we struggled last year. I think the points will come and ultimately it's a good it's a good decision by Jeannie Buss. I think it's a step in the right direction and we're making and we're making progress, you know? The dysfunction is not as dysfunctional anymore. So I I like the pickup. I like the two pickups. Maybe we can attract some free agents from those pickups and I can't wait to see what happens next. But as far as this video goes, I just not even twenty minutes ago. Um, they, they signed Frank Vogel and Jason Kidd, and I just wanted to get my intake on it, and to me, it's not that bad, um, it's all gonna be good, Lakers Nation stand up, you know what I'm saying, Lake Show, baby, and as far as this goes, make sure you <laughs> smash that like button, comment, subscribe, and I'll, sh and share with that right, you know, and I'll be with another one, so, peace. Triple B's, I'm the man. I'm leveled up, I'm Super Saiyan. You said I can't, but I can't. Triple B's got the plan. Triple B's, I'm the man. I'm leveled up, I'm Super Saiyan. You said I can't, but I can't. Triple B's got the plan.